New York lawmakers are taking a look at the adverse impacts COVID-19 has had on those with substance use disorder. News Channel 34's Karina Capabianca has more on some of the challenges from today's virtual assembly hearing. State lawmakers say the coronavirus has made the job of treatment providers much more difficult and that it's also caused a disruption for those battling substance use disorder. A steady day-to-day -day routine, a support group, you meet face-to-face, regular visits to a treatment center and reliable access to treatment. Despite online telehealth services available for some, many individuals lacked the capability to assess telehealth services. And we know that even with federal waivers in place, many people had to travel daily to receive their medications, risking their lives and the health of others. Another issue was PPE for treatment providers. What we definitely did face, the, the shortages in PPE, I think cannot be under, um, cannot be minimized. And, and I think thinking ahead, what do we do for a second surge? How do we make sure that, that we're not facing those again? Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle had hoped to hear more from the State Department of Health about overdose deaths, but no representatives from the department attended the hearing despite being invited. We might have pointed out that uh, the health department is in charge of how we register uh, deaths in New York and how they're, whether they're accurately counted or not. Uh, we would have pointed out that there have been issues raised about uh, the impact of hospital capacity uh, during the epidemic. Lawmakers did note that Ulster, Columbia, and Erie counties are seeing increases in overdose deaths. In Albany, Karina Capabianca.